hey, you can really dance if you see those videos on TikTok. <laughs> I don't, so I don't understand TikTok. Oh, man. It's, like, it's, like, it's, it's like a video. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's okay. All right. You can be. You're you're Jamie. You're part of it. Just nobody Quiet knows that you're there. I just burnt my tongue. <laughs> oh, what's the what's the profile? like what's the notes? I I just burnt my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wait for it to cool down. Okay. But, so but anyway, cool. they go over this TikTok because TikTok is not a new thing. But I just don't understand. Well, I like, think it's just become really big since everybody's in quarantine. Everybody's in lockdown. But remember, Stu was was this? I think Stu was talking about. This. Anyway, what I don't understand. It's just videos. It is literally just videos, but people can add music and like cut. You remember Vine? Do you remember yes. Vine? Yeah, yeah, but so there's literally nothing special about TikTok. It, it's just got stupidly funny videos on it. I will wait until after the podcast and I'll show you some of these videos because some of them are. I was listening to somebody talk about hilarious. TikTok and I can't remember who it was. But. It's kind of like I think it used to be very much just like you know who told me about it first, which is no surprise. Add it. Because mm-hmm. apparently it was just girls just dancing on there to the songs. Um, so I had told me about it. And then I didn't realize it was a, a big thing until it's like exploded with, uh, with everybody being at home. Yeah. People are just yeah, making stupid sense. videos. So yeah, but there is some funny shit on there. Sue's put a video up on her Instagram the other night of me oh, yeah, in I bed. I couldn't stop laughing for like half an hour. And it was the first, it was a video of a cat. I'm thinking about it and I'm like, like tearing up. It can't be that funny. <laughs> it's a video of a cat. <laughs> That's not real. Are you so serious? It can't possibly be that funny. Oh, man. I can't explain it. I'll show you later. <laughs> this, this is not like me hurt. <laughs> no, honestly, yeah, I can't like stop laughing. Like I can't stop laughing. I'm crying. No, no. I anyway. can't stop laughing at it. Anyway, I. I <laughs> Uh, moving beyond TikTok, like oh, wow. I feel like we should talk about ways ways to better use your time. Yeah, while we're well, kind of stuck in now, that, now that people have got a lot of it. Um, I know. Yeah, I mean, we've uh, we've not had all that much time. No, yeah, it's we it's weird for us just because we've gone like obviously we're. <laughs> we had we had what, what is a physical well, we still have it physical location <laughs> just <nobody> in it. <laughs> yeah there's just nobody in it and like that was the 99 percent of what we did was physical right yeah. like it was all at our brick and mortar location and all the digital stuff was to get people into our physical location yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and now it's like it's it's shifted or pivoted to be our, our main platform which is, seems seems crazy uh, yeah. it's it's like in in one sense it's unfortunate right because of the 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 direction that we had to go to get to that but then the reality is for us it's allowed us to like really focus on a part of you know the business that we're like i don't want to say lacking but like yeah. it what it is now is nowhere what it nowhere from what it was like yeah. it's and it's probably the best thing out there in this area yeah no for so. sure like i mean we've been we've been lucky that jacob who is filming this now or is helping us film this is uh has kind of moved to vancouver when he did before all this shit show went off but you know what i am i am a i am a scottish like magnet Right, I don't know how. Like, is there is there something in in Scotland that's like just like an add up, an every corner store that's like, hey, you looking for work in North America? Contact this guy. You got phone EJ. <laughs> you got three of us now. Three I of know. us. Um, yeah, we were just lucky that the kind of. I mean, we've been a big focus since uh, since I came on board last summer was the social media and the kind of branding and stuff, and then that kind of came to a head when this happened it's like right well now every all that you've got is a, is a physical gym for any crossfit gym owner or any gym owner is you have online content yeah that is all you're able to provide at the minute so yeah we lucked out that we uh that we had jacob here to help us kind of film those videos and start putting all this content out and getting people involved as much as we can it's like it's like in a workout where it's like three, two, one, go. You're like, okay, my strategy is this, and you like hit it hard, and it's like a 15 minute wide, and you get two minutes in, and you're you like, hit the wall, and you're like, oh shit, shit. <laughs> pivot. Yeah. Now what am I gonna do? No, we do. So that that's literally what 
what we did and uh it's crazy like i mean like i said the product that we're producing right now is is, is really good and we're gonna we'll see an interesting evolution with this product because we already have things like in the pipeline as to kind of what we're going to do with it next and, and how much more we're going to refine it um with the video side of things it's going to be like it's going to be a pretty incredible uh product yeah. super excited about that yeah really exciting yeah but, but you, you know like it's it's kind of like how, how do we how do we get to that point throughout the day like what are you know what are some some things some routines uh some staples in our day or, or i guess at this rate i kind of look at them as like benchmarks because most of my my three main benchmarks are like when am i going to eat because so, <laughs> like i find myself just getting to the next meal uh it's like survival mode yeah um but I don't, I don't know what are like uh like if we were going to look at like a what do you do when personally what do you do when you get up like what is your morning so i'll try and all the content that we've been filming i try and schedule that the stuff that can be scheduled I schedule to go out automatically in terms of the videos when they drop on the Uncivilized Hub and then all of the, all of the kind of emails that go out to notify people. That's also, I try and schedule that as much as I can at the beginning of the week. Okay. And then, so when I get up, my alarm goes off. We were getting up at like seven at the minute. Yeah. Um, and Which is probably later than... I mean, like, kind of hit or miss. Yeah, hit or miss. Yeah. You know, you and, but it's, it's more of a relax. Like if, if I'm getting up at seven normally when the gym's open like mm -hmm. i'm up and about i'm doing yeah. stuff and i'm like i need to go out the door and in somewhere physical at a yeah, certain yeah time. for sure um and then also not even going into like coaching early mornings it's gonna be weird when you go back to go it. back to that for sure having a break but yeah so i t tend to get up i will first thing i do which i don't it's not like i don't like doing it it's just it's something that i actively try and avoid when I, when i'm not in this you situation know, you shouldn't be doing it is going on my phone yeah for sure man. i like usually when we when this the world is not ending and all this stuff is not going on i try and not look at my phone until after i've had a cup of coffee and i've like got into the day for but sure. there's certain things that you can't schedule or they're like igtv videos or things like that yeah, yeah. so yeah. i need to go on and i literally just the first thing i do is i'll go through a boil the kettle while the kettle's boiling and like post in the video for the day mm -hmm. to make sure that it's going out to people and that's the first thing i do in the morning make coffee and then sit in coffee and have some uh, sit in bed and have some coffee. That's kind of how I start my day, and it's become like a nice little routine where I'm up and I'm not about, but I'm mm -hmm. awake and I'm like coming to the day at that time. So I'm because at the minute with with people not having a set time or place to be, yeah, it will be real easy. Less so for us, but real easy in general, just to be like ah, I can just chill until eleven. For sure, for or sure. Something you do in the morning. Um. I tr like I've been struggling to not sleep in or snooze beyond like eight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like I try. I'm perfect world. I'd be up at six regardless. But like now I'm kind of getting up at around seven thirty. Yeah. And then I try to go get a glass of water right away because my coffee consumption has been through the roof. <laughs> yeah. So like I get. I also have to switch to decaf after my first pot in the day. Yeah. See that's that's. I'm, I'm, I won't go that far. Like, I'll just drink more coffee. I won't go that far. <laughs> but, you know, like, I've, I'll try to get a glass of water down, and then I, I drink some of my... I think I've talked or shared about my concoction, which I haven't made for you. Right? Well, so, the salt and lemon and... Yeah, so I drink... So I have a noon. Oh, yeah, so, you know, that would, that's like... Sometimes you're so Kitsilano, bro. Uh, <laughs> I I, dr I drink the uh, the holistic version of the noon, which is See, that's uh, more. I would say that's more Kitsilano. You're not buying into yeah, these corporate maybe. corporate schmucks. You know, you're making maybe. your own. Yeah. So I drink my concoction, which is a mix of fresh fresh ginger, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper, uh, a little bit of black pepper, uh, sea salt. Turmeric powder, and I drink that. A little bit of water. It's uh, it's enough to knock your socks off. It's pretty, it's pretty pleasant. Doesn't sound like kind of, well, basically, it kind of hits you, and then it's like, <laughs> wakes you up, and then it kind of like you can feel it like trickling down into your guts, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I start with that, and then I get the coffee, uh, I get the coffee running, and uh, man. Yeah, I probably started with two, three, two, three cups of coffee, and then unfortunately, I'm straight onto like my phone, just like checking emails. Oh, you're doing? I'm doing that civilized coffee say. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Coffee, so coffee with coach. Coffee with coach. Yeah, 
at um, what we run that at eight thirty via Zoom, which is interesting. Like that's actually f like that's provided me with a good routine and and uh, normality, yeah. which is nice. Like because I'm getting that we're getting like today was you didn't get on this today there was like I almost ten people on yeah. there. Um, yeah, it's way better than when you hosted it the other day. <laughs> there, was two, there was two people. He was but, logged on and then so it was me. Like, oh, yeah. It's not, not going to get EJ's jokes first in the morning. Yeah. You know, that, that allows, that's allowed us to connect uh, and allowed me to connect with people. And you have like that daily conversation. Uh, and that's, that's been good. But like, I think, I think if there's something to focus on for people in the morning is... Uh, don't worry too much about like just do the little things to get you started as part of your 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 routine or schedule like you don't have to make big plans for the day just like get up and do like three basic things that allow you to to start your day off yeah so brew your coffee maybe, maybe that's one of them right or your tea depending on who you are right brush your teeth because, like, God knows <laughs> when you're not going out, like, you find yourself... <laughs> normally, Loving it. But normally, I'd start my day with a shower. Yeah. Like, and the shower is, like, the first thing I do. I shower in the morning, I shower at night. Like, yeah. I sometimes in the middle of the day as well. Like, I just constantly showering. But now, you're like, do I need to get... Like, I'm going to be staring at a computer screen. Like, do I yeah. need to do that? You're going to be seeing me and looking at a computer screen. Yeah. Yeah, literally, that that is my day. Yeah, so and Aaron as well. And Emma, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, with that, it's like that's how I normally start. If that's not not how I'm gonna do it, like you ha you need to attach yourself to some things yeah. that are gonna allow you to feel like you still have semblance of a normal life. Yeah, one thing that I would quite like starting from ending, and I know Jacob does it, is uh, starting off with a bit of yoga in the morning. Like, but I just I can't get this. I can't get into any of it. I so, start so my challenge to you start small called bedtime stretching bedtime stretch so just like literally sit up before you get out of bed I don't even think you can reach your toes but <laughs> straighten your legs come on don't look at me like that I can reach my toes my hamstring flexibility is great what do you want me to do oh please I'm gonna keep my chair in the same spot so I don't move the camera oh, stand up tall straight legs yeah yeah is he touching his toes Oh okay. yeah, all right. right, all right, fair enough. Can, uh -huh. you, can you put your hands on the floor? Yeah. Oh, just no. Like... Can you put your palms on the floor? Get down there. Yeah, so close. <laughs> no, this is gonna be on camera. That's all right. That was that was just that was what. Are you kidding me, man? I'm I'll go into a handstand for a minute. <laughs> anyway, do your bedtime your your morning bedtime stretching. So start with your just. Reach to your toes. Reach your toes. Then do twist. a two -la, leg across, right? Then pull your knees to your chest. That's there it. You, you start small. So that's, that's what we're going to do. It's a challenge for the next week. Yeah. I mean, everybody should, should like, a bit of movement in the morning. It's actually amazing how, how a much bit of, uh, for sure. Yeah. Like, I've never been, really been a morning exerciser or get up and do something. Yeah. But there were a few mornings where Aaron and I, like, got up and went for a run. And you get back and you're like, oh, fuck, it's 8.45 or something. Yeah. Like, this is epic. Yeah. I'm awake. Definitely. In the um, in the summer, what we try and do is we'll make our coffee and then we'll go out for like just a walk down to the beach or something like that mm -hmm. at like half seven and do that and have our coffee because even just a little bit of fresh air and just getting out and, and moving, just especially when the weather's nicer, it's just gets your day off to a good start. Yeah, I mean, I think it I think it can be tough right now, uh, especially if the weather isn't that great. Yeah. Like the important thing is just get up. Yeah, I think that's uh, and, and again, like I'm no, I, I don't like to dive too much into like really trying to <laughs> think too much about like mental health. But like one thing is for certain, like you just can't stay in bed. Yeah, whatever the day is going to continue with or without you, so you might as well be part of that. Yeah. So get up. Like sure. it's very easy right now if you're like whatever situation you're in to be like. Uh, Fuck it, I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna and say I'm gonna watch the Tiger King. I'm gonna watch Tiger King. Have you watched it? Nope. Have you not? No. You need to man. I feel like that's a deep, deep dark hole you go you down. You go get it done because so me and Sue, I think we watched it in like three nights. It's like seven episodes or something. And the first night we watched like you watch watch the first one, you can't just put it down after it like I wanna know what's going on. And then so we watched the second one and then after the second night of watching it, like I went to bed and I was like Susan, I was like, I feel sad. I was like, yeah, see, I was like, about that, right? I've been like 
I've been like put into this world of this weird world of Joe Exotic and the Tiger King. Yeah. And it's like messing with my like my mental health right now. Yeah, not about it, man. And then I was like, just, let's just get it done. So I'd have to think about it for the rest of the thing. So the next night we just finished it off. And it was like, it's strange. It's a really messed up story. And it's very entertaining. Yeah. And the memes to come out of it are also incredible. So here's the set here here's the second thing, right? I don't get sucked into shit that's gonna bring you down. <laughs> I'm serious, man. It's I can't true. watch some of these these super thrillers. Like so so I'd say first thing, start with one or two basic tasks that you can do in the morning just to get you moving. Morning coffee, a little bit of a stretch, whatever, shower, whatever it may be. Cold shower. Okay. Cold, cold shower. shower. I, I, again, tried that one two days and then I was like, I don't want to go for a cold shower. I know. You really got to buy into that. Yeah. Start small. <clears throat> Start with your warm shower. Well, I, now what I've done in my routine is when I'm like brushing my teeth, I'll splash my face with really cold water. That's as far as I'm going right now. That's like not even dipping a big toe in. <laughs> <Yeah>. What is <laughs> that? That's my, I'm starting small. So, so what I've done <laughs> is I've gone ahead and washed my hands with cold water. No, I what the my face. Yes. Splash it. I get what you're saying. I, I now. So anyway, moving on from the morning routine. I now brew my coffee we're in a hundred degree water. We're, in, we're into the afternoon. No, not really. Well, middle morning. Depends what you got going on. If uh, if you're working, personally, I always prefer to like get in and get working. Front load it. Yeah. I'll end up. On a call and, at and midnight. <laughs> and then, yeah, like we were the other night. But we, um, yeah, I prefer to get, get in, get work before lunch. And then try and stick. I'm really bad at this. I feel like the advice I'm giving is like, I'm like, oh yeah, have lunch at lunchtime. I end up missing it so much. Just like my will. I'll end up coming back to the flat at like three or four and having lunch then. And then I'm having dinner until like eight. Yeah, I mean, I, the, you know, we've, we've talked several several uh, times about like nutrition but you know you have to first off you have to do what works for you right in terms of however that fits in for your day like if you're like i'm not a breakfast person like the majority of the time i don't eat breakfast <coughs> i think like don't worry that was so sick um <laughs> the uh most of the, most of the time i don't i don't eat breakfast so mine my first meal would be a lunch anyway but like that works for me the other thing too uh is for most of us the reality is we're far less active than what we were yeah. before this so like really take a look at how much and what you're eating like we were having a conversation before we did the podcast with jacob about how like a lot of people are just kind of ah, i'm having I'm, I'm having these treats or those treats or you know like Rory and i were talking about oh i had a couple of beers last night yeah. I had a couple of beers the night before like normally i wouldn't touch a beer during the week no you know, and maybe have one or two on the weekend, but now it's like, yeah, I'm just sitting around. Well, I feel like it's it's one of those things where, although there's all this shit going on, it definitely doesn't feel like a vacation in terms of the workload that's going on. But then in some sense it does, because we're used to being in a physical location every day, providing a service yeah. where people are directly seeing us, and yeah. you've got to kind of be, you're performing, right? Yeah. You turn up to a class and you feel like shit, yeah. it's, it will directly impact your yeah, performance. You um, so whereas now it feels like you're kind of because we're not customer facing all the time mm-hmm. or because people aren't having to go to work and deal with co-workers or they're not having to sit in meetings physically whatever it is however your work life has changed sometimes it can feel like a little bit of a vacation yeah you're still working you're probably working less so than, uh, than when you when your whatever your job was was open um, so it's really easy to go, oh, well, it's vacation, so I can have a couple of drinks. Or I can eat this or I can get takeout a couple times a week because everybody else is doing it. Until it turns into one of the bad vacations. You ever been on a vacation where you run out of money? No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you go on a vacation yeah, no, no. when you don't have the well, money? No, to... when I was in college. Oh, okay, like, like, a, like a last spring. vacation, yeah. like spring break. Yeah. <laughs> you get to the end of it and I'm like, all right, cool, we're going out. And I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> How am I supposed to make $20 for the next few days? <laughs> this is not good. Right? This, Whoa, this could man. easily be one of those kind of like, you know, vacations yeah. where you end up getting to the end of it and being like, oh, oh no. I'm like, and I'm not talking about financially. I'm talking about like physically, mentally, like you get yeah. to it. The gym reopens and you're like, like, wow, I have not trained for yeah. three minutes. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, that's why I think these routines and, and, and habits are really good. Like, 
the you know the physical side of it because we're being less or because we are less active uh, through this more more than likely right some of us maybe not but uh, the physical side of it trying to find fitness when it's not the easiest right like we talk about our, our gym location trying to remove all barriers to get you in the door and get you moving like we offer eight classes a day multiple times open gym like coaches are friendly people are nice workouts are inclusive and it's like we remove all barriers you can get in do this this is now it's like now this huge barrier has been put up like how do we do this yeah you know from a distance yeah and i think like our our uh uncivilized hub has done an awesome job of engaging people and, and saying like even at home it doesn't matter like the one day i was on the zoom workout one of our live workouts at five doing thrusters with a chair in my room. <laughs> so it's like and like, adopt and overcome. Yeah you gotta you, you gotta figure it out. Like situations aren't ideal, but like if you don't figure it out, you'll get to the end of this thing and be like, oh shit, what yeah what happened to my body? Yeah, and it's also like a really good time to focus on some things that maybe you kind of neglect because there's all the shiny fun yeah. stuff that goes on in class, right? Yeah, you yeah. come to class and you get to load up a barbell and do cleans and snatches and practice your muscle ups and practice mm-hmm. all this kind of stuff. Because the gym is where everybody has their equipment. Yeah. Whereas now, you might walk home with a dumbbell or a kettlebell or a plate or you have a rucksack or something mm-hmm. like that. And there will be limited things that you can do in the workouts that we're, that we're putting online or the live workouts, but there's um, so many things you can do with just your body. Yeah. And so many fundamental things that are needed when we come back to class For or sure. that are going to be improved when we come back to class by just spending a little bit of time on the net, hollow rocks, handstand holds, all this kind of stuff where you're literally just using your body and gravity to, uh, to help work on things. Well, that's one of the things I found with like the, the kind of like aesthetic or bodybuilding program that we've built into uh, the Uncivilized at Home is that um, like that stuff I hate doing. Like I, I wouldn't do that in the gym, but like two things. The fact that it's there daily, but then also when I jump on the 5 p.m. class, like, I have to do it because they're doing it. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I might as well do it. And, like, I genuinely don't like that stuff, but I've probably done more lunges in the past two weeks than I've done in the past two years. Yeah. And, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure, like, I'm, I'm only going to be better f- yeah. for that when I come back yeah. to group. And I think that's, that's the thing, right? Like progress is not exclusive to the gym right you can you can make some serious progress on your fitness just by focusing on basic things out of necessity now. Yeah. like it, and like you like you were mentioning like you can get lost in all the other bullshit when you go to the gym because of what's programmed yeah. like oh, what's yeah. programmed and what's like what the distractions are yeah so because i mean how many people how many people come into the gym where they're thinking about their fitness and go, oh man, I PR'd my mobility and my air squat without <laughs> yeah. any shoes on. Yeah. Like that's yeah. one thing I've noticed, like the amount of air squats I've had in workouts, like I'm doing them barefoot in the, in the flat, yeah. and even just in the past two weeks, I'm going to get the goods, like, my, the comf- like how comfortable I am just bashing out air squats barefoot. For sure. Ten times better. But if somebody asked you or was like, oh, how are you getting all that crossfit? And you're like, oh yeah, man, I learned to snatch and I put on 10 pounds on my snatch and I working on a muscle up, all these finer things get like forgotten because of the vast amount of other movements that we've, more sexy movements that we've yeah. got going on in class. Yeah, what was that, what was that one we did a while back? It was the, uh, easy, easy, uh, oh, quiet, quiet. Oh, no, 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 remember the, um, we're just getting away from Jacob. Is that me again? Oh, I'm doing that. <laughs> that, we, that we need to fix some of the batteries. Oh. Well, you're going to finish your sentence. Oh my God. And then we're going to do it. No. Uh, simple doesn't mean easy. Yeah. Simple yeah, doesn't mean easy. Simple doesn't mean easy. And that's like that. I'm getting smashed by oh. some of these at home workouts. This is like, they're, pro- they're proving that simple doesn't it, mean easy. Yeah. No, no. Because some of them are no joke whatsoever. I don't know, man. This is like the first time using this. What, what do you want? You put the least technical guy. And tr- that was a bad idea. That was yeah. a very bad idea. So, it would be a damn miracle. That's, yeah. Go jinx. Anyway, that's like getting Rory to vacuum at the gym, you know. It would be How a miracle. How dare you? How dare you? I have, to, I have to flat Suze puts me in charge of all the cleaning. No, actually, I'm in charge of the cooking. She's in charge of the cleaning. That's the deal we made. The deal. The deal. 
when I first courted her, I was like, well, wow, this is going to be a thing. I'll cook, you clean. I'll keep it to that. When I first courted her. <laughs> and and I had to, well, I had to wrestle one of her dad's sheep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I had to show him how to probably hold yeah. the tie and then fight one of their dogs. Yeah. And then I was allowed. In, in, in just a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing Scotland. So anyway, we, you know. So, yeah. Training, it's been, it's been... Get some physical activity. In get some physical activity. And also, like, I mean, obviously, in small groups or solo outside, like, that's one thing mm-hmm. that, one thing that I found is just, the weather's been kind of, it's been a little bit, it was really sunny when this all first kicked off, yeah, yeah. which probably wasn't good for the social distancing because everyone wants to be outside. Um, but it's not been bad weather, it's been good, good enough and light enough and bright to get outside go for a run even just like go for a walk go out to Pacific Spirit it's just it, for me that's like one of the things that I know just has a very positive effect on yeah. my mental wellness yeah I'd say like if you were gonna if you are gonna set yourself up for some kind of metric if you're if the sun is shining try to get out for an hour yeah. or more if if it's dark try to at least get out even even if it's raining just to get some fresh air yeah because that that the Simulation from nature, like man, you makes a big difference. It does breaks up your day. It does makes you more productive. All the good stuff, um, and then finally, what goes in kind of hand in hand with training is the other bit portion that we've talked about multiple times before on this podcast. But it is nutrition. Mm-hmm. It is making sure that we're uh, we're kind of keeping an eye on what we are putting into our body. And like you briefly touched on when we were talking about training, like you're the amount that people are going to be training and the kind of stimulus that their body is getting in terms mm-hmm. of something very much strength work. There's not, you're going to probably not going to finish the day and be like, Jesus, I pulled a PR for my like sumo deadlift and I'm, my CNS is fried. Like yeah, it's yeah. going to be more, you're breathing, you're getting out running and you're getting your kind of heart and lungs uh, kind of jacked up. But yeah, you're just putting work in. You're putting work in. It's just run work. Yeah. But I, th- I think that one thing that's really easy, especially as we can kind of start to feel in this vo- vacation mode is just to be like, I can kind of relax on what I'm eating. Um, yeah. Can just eat this here and eat that there. And don't get me wrong, like, even for the first week when we were really slamming it, trying to get all this set up and get the hub set up and videos done, it gets neglected. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, oh, I'll eat when I can. I'm probably just going to grab something that's easy. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, you know, allow yourself that, that kind of, like, reward of, of kind of the weekend. I mean, we do that with our, our community... Um, Family style, Our Friday. Friday, style Friday, yeah. right? Like it's almost like, hey, we've made it to the week, then we made it through the, the week, made it to the weekend. Even though days seem to run together now, it allows us then to be like, okay, well, we're going to get together virtually. What's our, like the last, we did that last Friday, right? Yeah. That was, that was pretty cool. Like people were sitting around and it was like, oh, what, do you, what did you get? What did yeah. you get? A lot of uh, support some local businesses and just kind of still get that community engagement with, you know, treating ourselves for making it through the week, yeah. have have a beer, have a glass of wine, um, you know. But then it's, it comes Saturday; it's kind of business as usual. Like yeah. just get get stay with your routines. Yeah. Because now, really, the day of the week doesn't really mean a whole lot. No. And the reality is <laughs> like yeah. I suppose for some people working from home, obviously their work week is still Monday to Friday. But like you know, for us. So, but then more people going to do on their Saturday Sunday. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like <laughs> like they, they can't go out and uh, no, go no, and explore or go and get an Airbnb somewhere and yeah. explore a city. It's, yeah. it's changed a fair bit as what people can do on their time off. Yeah. But, you know, one, one thing that I'd say could could help in the, in the kind of overarching scheme of this is, like, write some of these things out. Put it up where it's visible. Um, you know, like, it's like that old adage of, like, if you, uh, you know, post your goal in several different places around you, your living space and you'll be constantly reminded and you're more likely to, to reach those goals like just get it up on the fridge right yeah. where you're going to see it every day yeah. or like the mirror in the washroom like just put that schedule out there that way you can kind of stick to it then that way if you get off track like it would be easy to have coffee and just turn the tv on yeah and then you're like oh shit my coffee time's up okay cool upward yeah. and onward to whatever whatever is, is coming next i guess uh, it's it's a really good time to put some of these things in place because you've got way less distraction of everything that's going on. Yeah. Like, it's, it can, just life in general when you're working full time and you're running around, you can kind of be like, 
oh, you feel like you maybe don't have time for a lot of this stuff, this mm-hmm. lot of self development. But this is the time to like practice it when there's less distractions. You've got a lot more time to yourself and a lot more time to work on these things and put them in place. And it's not going to be something where you go, oh, day number one, I'm going to put these in place and I'm going to nail it. Yeah, yeah for sure. You might get on well with it the first couple of days, fall off the third day and then think, ah, fuck it, I'll just uh, forget about this. As is life though, yeah, right? Yeah, like it just, it, it'll it go has, in ebbs and flows. Yeah, it can't, yeah. It doesn't have to be so finite or concrete. It doesn't have to be black or white. It can just, yeah, it's on that yeah. spectrum. Just, just moving. Figure yeah. out what works best for you. Try and implement it. Yeah, because yeah. you you do need you you do need some routine. No, yeah. like this is it's being that we don't know how long it's gonna last. Like it's you do need some routine. So, you know, maybe your get your weekly fix of the uncivilized. Yeah, uncivilized podcast. Break, yeah, the get the goods. Family Style Friday, Community Coffee, Coffee with Coach. Trying to create as much routine as possible. Yeah, I mean that was the 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 intention with that, right? Yeah. It's like. If you can count on nothing in life right now, the one thing you can count on is the same thing you've counted on uh, from us is we will give you structure, we will give you a routine, and we will create some order to it, right? Yeah. And, and so that's what we try to do. So if you're not utilizing that hub, get on there, right? Like you can, if you do nothing else, just plan your day by the damn hub. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, have coffee, have time, coffee with coaches over. It's yeah, nine it's o'clock. Nine, you can start your work. work. Right. And you know you can be done with work by 5 o'clock. Yeah. Right? Or 4.30. 4.30. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, and then if you sprinkle in a little eating in between. And if you're really struggling with this, you know, at where we do have our accountability coaching now. So, like, send us an email and we'll... We'll reach out to you directly and make sure you're getting on track with things um, and and getting through workouts. Even if that means you don't have any equipment, like we can tailor the workouts to specifically what you have access to. Yeah. So I think that's like it's one thing that might be overlooked when people think about CrossFit or going to the gym. Like the community element is massive, mm. and the. And yeah, if you didn't realize that before, you're probably realizing. Yeah, that now. and it's and it's become more apparent now because people are craving it so much. People are For craving sure. coming in and being able to sit and have a coffee with people and chat before they work out, and and we're trying to simulate that as much as possible. But if you if you are finding that there's some days where you watch the whole video workout and you have the best intentions of getting it done and it just mm-hmm. doesn't seem to happen because it's because you just end up being like ah oh, you know what like nobody's coaches and saying three two one go yeah. and I've not signed into a class and it's the pressures the normal pressures of maybe meeting people that are there none of that's there at the moment mm-hmm. but honestly if you something that's been like I know that I've definitely utilized is jumping on the live sessions and just having other people there knowing that they're doing it with me just like you would in a class yeah yeah for sure how, how many of you would uh, would be doing the workouts that we program when we're open with the intensity that you do if there wasn't 17, 18 other people doing it at the same time as you. Mm-hmm. So utilize them, keep healthy, keep in those routines as much as possible. And then when this all blows over and we get out of it, you'll, uh, you'll reap the rewards. Yeah, I mean, it, we are in uncertain times, but create certainty for yourself. Right? You, you are in c- complete control of that. You are the so master of your own your destiny. Destiny, fate, something like that. Yeah. Well, first uh, lockdown podcast. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> so, um, but we're gonna try. We'll probably end up hammering out more of these. Yeah. Because uh, it allows us. Because to... just content cre- content creators now. Con- constant creation of content. I email Trim Instagram asking for blue ticks for both of us. Yeah. So hopefully you verify. <laughs> Is that all it is? You just have to ask. No, you've got, I don't know. 10,000 followers. 10,000 followers? Yeah. Oh man, that's a new goal. Let's get 10,000 followers. Yeah. If anybody uh, has any friends in social media that can help get us to 10,000 followers, that'd be a, that'd be a real deal. We're going to get a bunch of, like, turn your phone off. Like, we're going to get a bunch of sponsored. Hey, do you want, do you want more followers? Yeah. Do you need more traction? Click this link. Yeah. And it'll take you to a link that's like, for... For five hundred dollars, we'll give you ten thousand followers. Yeah, oh, it's not okay. a bad deal. Oh, okay. <laughs> give me the blue tape, maybe. Although I heard there was like a like that's like a um, like 
they do like yearly Instagram audits where it's like they, they cut it. Yeah, they. I've worked with mates that have got blue ticks and they have about ten thousand followers. They're like professional rugby players. Yeah, They're like two you, or three thousand. You're going to be like a public figure. Uh, or have ten thousand followers. No, what? What? Am I a like, public figure? What? Yeah, what dictates no, the public figure? It's like celebrities. That, I don't know. I need to look into the rules of this. <laughs> I feel like there's an argument here <laughs> to become blue tickers. Yeah. So, anyway, on that. Note. Anyway, well, as always, like, share, review. Yeah. Get on the hub. Join with us. Get on the hubs. hub, man. Let us know if you've got any questions. Yeah. We miss everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck, stuck seeing the same like three people every day. Hey, so. man. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with that? Uh, no, see, you guys. You, you, you guys. Been a good time for us to walk you, in relationship. You guys understand. You guys understand. <laughs> Until next week. Peace.